The Knicks, Obi Toppin, Julius Randle, and Jalen Brunson all hooped in a Pro City Summer League game at the Swamp in the Bronx Monday night. And of course, the gym was all the way turned up. Knicks fan TV creator CP, the franchise, of course, was courtside, and he joins us now. CP, all right, you got pro athletes playing against hoop dreamers. So uh, how did the game go, and what was your biggest takeaway from it? Well, first off, Brandon, good to be here with you. And uh, look, we were taken by surprise when yesterday at around 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, we found out that uh, Julius Randle, Obi Toppin, and Jalen Brunson would be participating in the Nike Pro City Pro-Am down at uh, Hostos Community College. They played for Team uh, Hoopsville against Team Av Life in the playoffs, and it was an electric, electric atmosphere. But Team Av Life, they came with passion, they came with intensity, and they shot out the gates early. And there were a lot of Bronx products, namely Jordan Aaron and Jordan Washington. Uh, Jordan Aaron, who attended the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee, and, uh, and Jordan Washington, who played pro ball overseas in Saudi Arabia, they rose to the challenge scoring 40 points apiece. Uh, Jordan Washington certainly had a chip on his shoulder going head up with Julius Randle, man. Julius had his work cut out for him all night. Do we take that as they're hungry, as, you know, guys looking to make a name for themselves, or should Knicks fans be wary that, you know, that, that they, they gave three professional athletes, one who's been the talk of the offseason, they gave those guys a run for their money? Listen, we, we got to understand something in these pro-am tournaments. A lot of these pro guys come in and they're looking to get a run, get their conditioning in, build some chemistry with their teammates. They're not looking to put it all on the line when they have to get ready for, you know, the important things like an NBA regular season and hopefully the playoffs. So, you know, you give credit to Randall and Toppin and Brunson for coming through and giving the fans a show. But on the other side, these guys are team AF life, namely Jordan Aaron, Jordan Washington. These guys had something to play for. It was the pride and the passion of New York City street ball hoops it is the physicality it is you know you, you know these guys a guy like a jordan watson he saw himself being on the same level mm. as julius randall so they they really played with intensity they put all the pride on the line and you know as local bronx products they had their fans in the stands it was, it was sort of a hostile environment for the knicks because you know uh, a lot of these guys were cheering for for their local heroes to to pull off an upset so i wouldn't be so worried if i were the knicks fans you know the knicks did lose 110 to 97 I just give credit to the other team for going out there and taking the game. All right, let's talk about Jalen Brunson. It was his first time, or the Knicks fans' first time getting a chance to see him hoop with his new teammates. So what did you see from him, and how do you see him fitting in with this team once the season starts? Yeah, well, with Brunson, you certainly saw some flashes, man. The footwork, the physicality, you know, using his size to his advantage. He's a very stocky and, and physical guard. You saw some flashy plays from Brunson to Obi Toppin, and that's what you hope to see the uh, Brunson bring to this Knicks team. Be a floor general, be a stabilizing force for this Knicks offense that has been in dire need of a point guard for really like the last 10 years. So I'm hoping that Brunson continues to pick it up where he left off with the Dallas Mavericks, a season high 16 points and four a assists, uh, a solid playoff run with the Mavericks, and, you know, to be able to get these guys involved, get Julius Randle some easier shots, build some chemistry with R.J. Barrett, finding Evan Fournier in his spot so he can be the flamethrower that he was for the Knicks last year. This is what Brunson is going to do, but also he's going to be able to score very efficiently from the mid-range and inside the paint, something that the Knicks haven't had in a long time, so he'll be able to bring that dynamic to the offense. Definitely showed out last night at uh, Hostos Community College. CP, you got me ready to bing bong, and it's only August, man. It's only <laughs> August. Hey, but uh, thanks, for, thanks for joining us, my man. Hey, anytime, man. Thanks for having me. Go Giants, too.